All right, guys, what's up? My name is Dave. I have this channel called Six String Stanger, right? Thank you for watching. We're going to start on some more unboxings of little minis. These, I have several of these uh, guitars here. These are uh, Oz Mini guitars. They uh, got a lot of awesome guitars. This one in particular we're going to talk about today. Um, this is going to be a one guitar unboxing just simply because. Once I get this out of the box, I'm going to spoil it for you first of all. This is another Dimebank Daryl guitar, okay? Um, this one here is really awesome. This is the Bumblebee Slime. Um, we're going to open this up in just a second and you're going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. <laughs> we're all just going to freak out. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Um, so I, I have decided uh, since this is the last dime bag one here, so you know, if you've seen one of my other videos, I think it was my Kiss videos that I did with the last two guitars there, I went ahead and put it among the other guitars. I'm going to start doing that with every unboxing I do now. Just kind of finish everything off, make it look nice in the cupboard or in the cupboard. <laughs> Jeez, what a idiot. So, anyway, I have other guitars to unbox. Um, if like, uh, I got other bands, so if I can get like a complete band series, I'll do that. You know, like two or three guitars or whatever. But this is the last one, the Dimebag series, so that, I, that I'm that i getting at this point. Uh, I may do more down the line, I don't know. But as for now, this is the last one I have. So shut up, Dave, and let's go ahead and unbox it, okay? Okay, guys, so like I said, um, yeah, this should be really cool. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so with these, the Oz Mini Guitars... They send you an actual guitar strap to kind of put on, make it even look more realistic than it already does. Pretty cool. Um, all of their type of, ooh, don't want to spoil that. Oh, God. <laughs> all of their guitar stands, um, well, some of them. I thought this one was the same way, but I guess not. This is kind of like the Longs of Act 7. Uh, I've gotten some from Oz Mini that's kind of like the way their uh, stands are. It's a little different, but this one here is pretty cool. It's just kind of like the Axe Heaven type thing. So, we'll get to that later. No big deal. Okay, so shut up and here we go. Alright. Man, it looks good already, right? Oh, man, I'm going to even flip it over. I won't even look at it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. This is exciting. It is exciting. Okay, let's get this uh, plastic off of here. However we do it. That was nice. There's no tape on it. That's good. That makes it easier to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to just kind of do it this way, and then we'll flip it out when we get it out of the package. Man, I'm liking this already. My, my, my. Okay. In three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is awesome. Look at this. Even right down to the headstock, guys. Look at the clarity. Look at the... Look at the detailed work on this. That is crazy. Look, and even at the 12th inlay, you got the razor blade there. Oh my goodness, guys. This is awesome. Probably one of the favorite dime bag guitars that I've unboxed yet. Nice razorback green bumblebee slime guitar. Complete with whammy bar. Very nice. Very, very nice guitar. Oh my god. Look at this. Strap buttons, everything, everything looks like it's an actual guitar here. Craziness. guys I don't know if you're impressed as I am uh, as good as this looks on camera uh, it looks even better in person trust me uh, that headstock just blows me away just beautiful I may have to do a uh, razorback DIY in the future <laughs> maybe if I can get over the uh, good old Floyd Rose issue of life uh, you know I can always make one and just kind of display it and never play it right but seriously this is awesome 
So let's go ahead and do our new ceremonial thing. Get it put in the stand and uh, get it set in our awesome shrine. Okay guys, let's go downstairs. <laughs>